Hey guys, it's uh, it's Henry Castillo uh, from Period Five Kirch. This class, I'm just trying to do WPP number three. It's um the one. It, it's unit E concept two. We have to find the maximum and minimum values of quadratic applications with the calculator. Unfortunately, unfortunately, I do not have a graphing calculator. Plus, even if I did, I don't know how I would be able to show you on the screen just yet. So I'm just using this website called Meta Calculator, and I'm gonna try my best with it and see how it goes. Well, my problem is that <clears throat> it's about a soccer ball. You know, since I like to play soccer, you, uh, I was thinking of soccer. So you just uh, what I was trying to do is that I was trying to kick the ball as far as I could and try to find and I don't know how far it goes or how high it goes so this is why I made this problem I guessed and f assumed that this is the problem to find the height in feet of a kick soccer ball where x is the horizontal distance and what I got was this equation y equals negative 14 let me fix that, it looks like a sad face, there you go now it looks like a sad face but yeah. y equals let me make it a small y wait hold on alright there you go y equals neg negative 14 over 1005 t um, times x to this, uh, x squared plus 7 over 3x there's no uh, there's no plus anything here there's no y intercept because I, I mean you're just kicking it from the ground you're kicking it uh, from 0 feet you know what I'm saying alright well, the first question asks, how high is the soccer ball off the ground when it's kicked? Well, like I said, it's zero feet. Doesn't have no, doesn't have any wide up. But if you wanted to use a calculator, you'd have to hit second calc, then value, and then x equals zero, something, something like that, and you'd get y equals zero. Oops, there you go. I look like a happy face. Now it looks like a. <gasps> face. Okay. So that's yeah, that's what I got. Zero. As in zero feet off the ground. You always gotta put units guys. Okay. Or else, you know, it'd be zero what? Zero penguins or whatever. Okay. It says the highest height the soccer ball reaches in the air. What is it? Okay, like I said I don't have a graphing calculator and that's just asking for the maximum so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna zoom in to this point right here it's a really large graph as you can see I mean it goes all the way to 352 or something so I'm just gonna zoom in uh, I, went, I zoomed in the wrong guy, the place guys there it is <coughs> I keep zooming in Jesus okay I think it's like right there or maybe right here yeah I'm gonna say it's right there. Okay, so what I got was wait, hold up, there. I messed it up. There you go. I got 167.75, so I'll just round it at off to 167. Yeah, 167.8 as my x value, and for y, 184.92, and I'll just round it to 194.9. So I'll put that. Let me see if I can remember. It'd be nope, forgot. Okay. 160. I'll just put 168. 160. That's my x value. And y 195. I'll put. It. Bam. Okay. Man, 194. Perfect. Okay. Wait. Hold up a second. Yeah, yeah, this is distance, 168, and this is the height, because right here, x is distance and y is height. Okay, so that means it'd be 94.9 feet at, you know, high, as in if that's the highest it goes in the air. Now, for C, how far did the soccer ball travel? So that just means when it hits the... the the x uh, line, it's 
So I'm gonna zoom. I'm, I'm just gonna keep following the graph. Ah, here we go. Ah, and it hits about right there. You see, you see it right there. Okay, that's when it hits because y is zero. No, y is. Uh, I can't show you. Y is zero. Wait, wait, wait. There you go. Y is zero. And x is 334.13. 334.13, 334.13, yeah. Before I forget, come on. Uh, what was it, guys? 334.13, nice job. Okay. Zero because that's, that's, I mean, the y value has to be zero. So, again, distance and uh, height, it's asking the distance. So, I'm going to put. 334.13 oh I forgot for for B all you had to do in a calculator was hit second calculate sec second calc you know the button second and then calc in the yellow letters and then max choose max and then do the left bound thing and do the right bound thing and then do the guess thing and you'll get approximately this if not something way better and yeah, that's what you do. Same thing with this one. Do the exact same thing, but instead of max for for the second thing, you hit zero. Like in, you hit second, then calc, then zero, then you do the, you do the left bound, right bound guess thing, and you'll probably you probably get this. So uh, back to what I was saying, three thirty four point thirteen. That would be three thirty four point thirteen feet. Obviously, fifteen. Feet. Uh, feet we've been working with this whole time. Uh, what else? Yeah, it's. What, what was I gonna say? Uh, this is. Uh, yeah, this is the, the. How far the soccer ball traveled before it hit the ground, and that's it for this video. I hope you guys liked it. If not, I'm pr I'm pretty sure most of you didn't even watch it. Just try to try to see if I was gonna show my beautiful face in there, but you know, oh well, you lose. Uh, see you guys.